Hi friend, welcome to Zio Entire. This is again time to share one more video with you. So today I am going to tell you one of the important mineral which is found in the earth. So that is the gold. So gold is a very precious metal as well as mineral. So in this video I am going to I am going to tell you what is the mineralogy of the gold, what is the mode of occurrence or kinds of gold deposits, how gold is originated, distribution of the golds in India as well as in the world and what are the different uses of the gold. This aspect I am going to share with you. So when we see the gold, the mineralogy of the gold, the native gold that is gold tellurites, the composition of gold tellurites is AUAG TE2 that is called as kermerite and AUAG TE4 that is called as silvanite. So these are the native golds and electrum and amalgam. So when we see the tailor of the gold, then we can say it is deposit or not. If any rock consists of 0.04 ounce of gold per ton that is called as low grade, then it is called as deposit. If below this, we can't say it is deposit. So, 0.02 to 0.55 ounces per ton, if gold is present in any rock, then it is called as high grade. So, below the 0.04 ounce per ton, it is called as low grade. And Higher than 0.02 to in between 0.55 ounces per ton that is called as high grade uh, gold. So mode of occurrence when we see the gold deposit it is formed by the magmatic process. Magmatic process means it is product of the magma crystallization product of the magma that is a magmatic. Contact metasomatic that is the one of the metamorphic process. Then third one that is the replacement. So whatever the earlier rock or mineral is present that can be replaced by the gold. So that may be massive lores or disseminated deposits. Then that is the hydrothermal process that is the cavity filling. Uh, in cavity filling fissure vents that is the stock works, saddle reefs and Brixia deposits are the mode of occurrence of these gold deposits. Mechanical concentration that is called as placer deposit. In mechanical concentration what happens? Naturally the lighter and heavier minerals are separated and gold having high specific gravity therefore it transport from one place to the another place and deposited at a suitable location maybe in a river at the base of the hill then that is called as placer deposit placer deposit are the product of this mechanical concentration so next one that is the residual concentration residual concentration we, when we see the precambrian to late tertiary period the gold deposits in it in this period basically it is product of uh, precambrian to late uh, tertiary period Origin of the gold. The most of the gold deposits originate through igneous emanations or surface concentrations. Hydrothermal solutions are most important mechanism because in hydrothermal solution, what happens? The temperature of this hydrothermal solution may be from 50 degree to 500 degree Celsius. So what happens? The hydrothermal fluids uh, it is contacted with other rock and the whole composition of the rock or the these hydrothermal fluids uh, leaching the gold deposits from the entire rock body and these uh, liquid deposited redeposited in other place and such type of uh, process is called as a hydrothermal process so therefore hydrothermal solutions are the most important mechanism for the gold deposits when we see Mechanical concentration result in the wealth of placer gold throughout the non-glaciate regions of the world. When we see the placer deposit, 
uh, it is found other than the non glaciated regions of the world so these are the origin of the uh, gold deposits one is the hydrothermal process and second is the mechanical concentration so in this way gold is originated now we will see the distribution of the golds when we see the india the kolar gold mine which is located in karnataka that is a uh, tenure of the gold in the kolar that is a 7.38 gram per ton then hati is there it is also in karnataka gadag it is also in karnataka so these are the localities which shows gold deposits other than the karnataka ramgiri which is uh, found in andhra pradesh and uh, there is a uh, uh, gold deposits in the form of placer then when we see the kerala and tamil nadu the vayanad area uh, vayanad area which is uh, in the state of kerala here also some uh, small amount of gold are found so other than this assam kerala madhya pradesh up here also some gold deposits are found in the form of placer deposits kerala it is found in uh, laterite deposits when we see the karnataka it is found in banded hematite quartzite this is a indian distribution of the gold deposits when we see the world that is the south africa that is a 65% of the gold which is present in the south africa then 12.9% which is present in the russia canada near about 5.8% gold deposit then usa that is the 3.2% and china that is the 4.5% so this is the uh, percentage wise distribution of the gold deposits in the world so now we will see what are the uses of the golds when we see the gold deposits it have varied or different uses so first use of the gold is the exchange for money when you have gold you go in bank and bank will give you uh, money in one day or within 10 to 15 minutes so gold have that value so therefore it is useful for exchange for money second use of the gold is the ornamentation when we see the indian families indian culture every woman every woman have a ornament the woman having the gold uh, uh, what we can say that ornament in her uh, neck in her nose in her uh, hand so there are different uh, uses uh, of the gold for the ornamentation purpose then gold it is useful for the gold plating also glass and china inlays uh, gold lace purpose also gilding purpose book binding purpose also gold is used lettering and interior decoration purpose gold is uh, very much useful glass making purpose gold is uh, very very essential uh, dentistry when we see the dentistry dentistry use uh, lot of golds for the filling the empty spaces in the teeth chemical industry gold is very very important medicinal purpose also gold is very very important in textile industries gold is also used so these are the different uses of the golds so i hope this video is really useful to you so in this video i am trying to tell you what is the mineralogy what are the mode of occurrence of the gold how gold is originated what are the different uh, distribution indian as well as the world distribution of the gold and different uses of the gold so i hope this video useful to you if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is you entire all about the earth